Hey, this is your teacher, Mr. J, and I'm here to talk to you about the IK Multimedia iRig pads. These pads can be used on iPads, iPhones. In our purpose here, we're going to set it up, and we have it set up to use with our Reaper audio software. And I'm just going to show you how to enter in some MIDI information using drums on the iRig pads. Now, probably the most important control to understand, there's lots of ways it can be used with the iRig software. A sample tank 3 to allow to trigger different drum loops and so on. We're not going to be focusing on that. Just using it basically to set up to play a drum kit. And so most important control to understand is that there's this button on the top called scene. And there's two basic scenes we're going to work with. You can set other kinds of custom scenes, but two basic scenes we're going to work with. Scene 1 is actually set up for using iRig with the different loops and so on but it sets up the drums in a strange kind of way so typically um, so you end up with two kicks two snares here and a variety of other things but typically for general MIDI setup because it doesn't set it up sequentially or chromatically typically for general MIDI setup, setup you're going to use scene 2 and this sets it up chromatically as the keyboard is laid out. Okay, so scene two for the general MIDI setup, and then I'll show you exactly where some of the keys are. We then work with our kick drum in the bottom left hand corner. We have snares here and here. Do some rolls and so on. And right above this right snare, we've got our hi hat. Or open hi hat. And you'll see with the iRig pads, they have touch velocity pads that feel really good, nice and responsive. Uh, I enjoy, I've used a lot of different kinds of pads over the years. These are kind of squishier than your typical NPC pads, but it's something I kind of like because it feels a little more responsive. And you see that nice, gratifying light change as you get it harder and harder. But it has a little squishier feel to it than, say, an MPC, but it has a nice feel, I think, for playing. So, kick, snare, closed hi-hat, open hi-hat. And then you have various toms in different places. You have your crash up here, and then your ride symbol up here. Ride used for things like swing. I'm going to just show you just a little bit of a beat here. So here we go with just a little beat demonstration. Hopefully that was helpful to you and you get to use the iRig pads as best as you can and keep on recording.